In this short video, I'll show you how easy it is to test an HDMI connected soundbar using Soundcheck. Typically, the biggest challenge with testing soundbars is the HDMI connection. So that's what we're going to focus on here. The speaker tests themselves are quite simple. We're just going to measure frequency response, THD, and rub and buzz. If you're interested in learning more about those measurements, check out our loudspeaker testing demo. I'm going to use a basic test sequence that you can download from our website. This test sequence isn't exclusive to soundbars. It could be used to make any audio measurements on any HDMI audio device, for example, TVs, monitors, home theater speakers, etc. You can easily modify it for additional measurements and different devices. Let's start with the setup. As you can see from this schematic diagram, the equipment is simple. A computer running sound check, a measurement microphone, and a simple low-cost two-channel audio interface. The audio signal from the test computer is sent to the soundbar via a simple audio extractor or switch between the computer and the soundbar. This is an inexpensive component, maybe $100 or so, and it's easy to find online or at your local electronics store. This separates the audio from the HDMI signal so they can be output to an audio system, such as an ARC or eARC soundbar, home theater or multimedia speaker. Because this is a basic test, we're going to use one microphone in the near field, as you might for a production line quality control check. If you're doing this in an R&D environment, you can measure at multiple locations with additional microphones and a multi-channel interface like the Amp Connect 621. First, let's configure our Soundcheck system's hardware and calibration to support the HDMI connected device. We'll connect the Audio Connect 2 using ASIO for input and use the Wasabi driver option in Soundcheck to connect the HDMI soundbar. This provides multi-channel support, more stable latency than WDM, and lets multiple Wasapi devices be used simultaneously. Now we'll configure the HDMI device. We'll connect the computer's HDMI into my HDMI extractor and the HDMI output of that into my soundbar. Then we'll launch Soundcheck. Now we'll go into the hardware setup and configure the output channels. I'm going to add an HDMI channel here. Let's call it HDMI 1. I'll select the Wasapi driver, then I'll set the output for my HDMI device to digital. Lastly, I need to set the sampling rate to match my input channel hardware. That's 44.1 kilohertz for the Audio Connect 2. Now let's repeat this for channel 2. The Wasapi driver allows for multi-channel input and output with Soundcheck. I also can easily adapt this test for a multi-channel Atmos system with an HDMI AVR receiver. Next, we need to create HDMI signal paths. Now we're going to place the microphone, which I've already calibrated, about a half meter from the soundbar, centered between the speakers as we want it to be in the near field. Now, let's run the sequence. So here's our results. On this graph, we have a frequency response, that's the blue line, and also THD, that's the orange line. On the second graph, we show rub and buzz, measured using both traditional and perceptual methods. If we take a look at the test sequence, you can see it's really simple. We just play the test stimulus. You can see it's a high to low sweep from 20 kilohertz to 100 hertz. We analyze the frequency response, THD, rub and buzz, and perceptual rub and buzz, and we display them on the screen. So as you can see, configuring sound check for HDMI testing is fast and easy. You just need to configure your HDMI channels first, then the test is implemented just the same way as any other audio test. The sequence I just used can be used as a base for audio measurements on any HDMI connected device. 
Just change the test parameters and limits as needed, and you can even add additional measurements. I hope you found this demonstration useful. If you'd like to learn more about testing HDMI devices or discuss your test application, please contact Listen or your local distributor.